皆さんこんにちは。The Tofugu of your dreams でございます。I want to share with all of you something that I've been working on the last、uh, couple weeks. Kind of a crazy idea that I have no idea if it's going to work or not.、Uh, but I think it's really interesting. It's the,、uh, the idea of studying Japanese while you dream. Now, I've read some really like, informal stuff about how people are like, oh yeah, was, you know, I dream in Japanese and it was nice and stuff. But nobody is actually. Trying to like figure out an actual method to study Japanese while you're asleep, while you're dreaming, and then wake up the next morning with that knowledge somewhere built up in your head. So, actually gaining something from dreaming in Japanese or making yourself dream in Japanese. Now, the thing that got me thinking about studying Japanese from within your dreams was this concept or this idea called lucid dreaming. Apparently, after enough training, You can actually make yourself、uh, realize that you're dreaming, and not only that, but then control the dream afterwards. And this is like a totally legit thing. This isn't, you know, a crazy snake oil salesman telling you you can、uh, control your dreams. They, they, there's actual, there's like a, I believe, an actual section of Stanford University that's studying this, and there's people around the world who are able to do this and have come up with methods in order to learn how to lucid dream. Now, sure, if you had the power to control your dreams and then remember them the next day, you could do all the normal things, you know, like flying or performing dentistry on a monkey, preparing lunch for your lunch lady, take a shower with unlimited hot water, all those things that normal people would do if they had the power to control their dreams. Now, the thing that I'm interested in, however, is the ability to study Japanese. Now, this would probably be studying something you've already studied before, because you can't just make something up, right? Or studying something that was kind of in your subconscious, you don't know very well, but is able to come out during your dreams. So here's the idea. Over the next month, two months, maybe three months, maybe four months, I don't know how long this is going to take, I'm going to try to achieve the ability to lucid dream and then do my best to apply that to actual studying of Japanese. Now, along with this video, this video right here, I'm going to post the,、uh, the methods that I'm going to go through that I'm going to try to use in order to be able to lucid dream. But along the way, things are going to change. There's going to be things I figure out. So, I'm going to try to keep you updated on any、uh, kind of breakthroughs with the lucid dreaming、uh, in terms of being able to use it to study Japanese. And then,、uh, of course, relay to you all the information that I can on how I did it, what I did,、uh, and things like that, so that in theory you could try to do it too. There's a much more thorough write up of this on tofugu.com, but here are the basic steps I'm going to take in order to achieve lucid dreaming and then use it to study Japanese. First, I actually have to be able to remember my dreams. This is what I've been doing the last two or three weeks. I have never, until Actually, pretty recently, since I've started doing this training,、um, been able to actually remember my dreams at all.、Um, but now I'm actually able to remember quite a bit of my dreams. And、uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm、uh, waking up in the morning and then actually forcing myself to remember the dreams, thinking through them, and then actually writing down notes.、Um, and by doing that, I am actually telling my brain or tricking my brain into. Uh, thinking that it's actually important for me to remember these dreams that I'm having. So I'm able to remember a lot more、uh, recently because of this. The second step is actually becoming able to、uh, realize that I'm dreaming. And I've only done this a couple times in my life,、uh, realizing that I'm dreaming, uh, but uh, I've never taken the next step, which is the third step, which is actually、um, realizing that you're dreaming and then taking control of it. And then doing whatever you want, you know, performing dentistry on monkeys or whatever your dream is. This is the step where I have to try to inject. Studying Japanese into. I have a few ideas on how I'm going to do this, and you know, most of it is going to actually require preparing before you go to sleep and just hoping that you、uh, are, are actually able to、uh, lucid dream.、Um, but、uh, there's going to be more on this later on when I actually am able to get to this step at all. And then lastly, just have to get better at it.、Uh, this is, lucid dreaming is actually something that you actually have to practice. You have to get better at it. It's a skill, it's not just some random thing that you、uh, pick up by drinking a pill or, or being lucky. You got to actually. Do it, you have to get better at it. And、uh, um, actually, when you first start lucid dreaming,、uh, the lucid dreams are very short because、uh, usually you gain consciousness after a short amount of time. But as you get better, you're able to have longer and longer and longer lucid dreams 10, 20, 30 minutes even.、Um, and、uh, the longer the lucid dreams are, the more I'll be able to study, the more I'll be able to think about, and the more monkeys I will be able to perform dentistry on. So, over the next two, three months, hopefully, that'll be、uh, the approximate timeline. I'm gonna 
uh, try to do this, try to achieve lucid dreaming and try to inject studying of Japanese in it and uh, actually practice uh, to figure out what works best, at least in my own brain, and then I'll uh, send that information along to you, I'll do write-ups on it, and uh, basically try to give you guys a step-by-step -step process that will help you achieve uh, the ability to study Japanese in your sleep, which sounds ridiculous. Um, I'm not normally a fan of this kind of thing, but I'm a huge fan of this kind of thing, or something like that. Now, if you have some experience on lucid dreaming, which I am sure some of you do, uh, I'd love to hear about it. Head on over to tofugu.com and, and leave a comment. I need advice. I need help uh, because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, but definitely read the article. I've uh, done a lot of reading as well um, to figure out how to lucid dream. So uh, hopefully that could help some of you guys as well. And then we can try this together and then uh, give out the information to everyone else and everyone can try it. And it'll be a new, a new thing in studying of languages, the act of studying it while you're sleeping and no one will take you seriously absolutely no one i'm sure you are not taking me seriously now but uh i hope it'll be fun so that's it for this video uh, a couple of just quick things tofugu tv working on it uh, it's still january i hope um and uh yeah first episode should be coming fairly soon probably the last day of january uh and then second thing textfugu the uh the online japanese textbook my online japanese textbook it is I don't know, I can't remember how much, it's like $43 off or something like that. There, there's a big sale, it's like 37% off. Uh, right now it's only until the uh, 14th-ish of January, so uh, if you were interested in that textbook or you want to get it at a lower price, because this is the first time I've ever discounted it, except for the first uh, few days that it came out, um, you can get it for a discounted rate right now. Uh, it's for the New Year's, it's for all you people who uh, decided to set up resolutions to be all like, I want to learn Japanese. Um, uh, you can do it in your sleep and when you're not sleeping. So uh, check that out if you're interested. And, uh, omake time. Inception. Oh, hey Leonardo DiCaprio. Koichi, we don't have much time. Someone's trying to hack into your brain. I thought you were very good in Home Alone. I thought the second one was actually better. No, that definitely was not me. You're thinking of Macaulay Culkin. No, I'm pretty sure that was you. I did not understand that movie at all. I do like Batman. Inception.